Bum, bum. Okay. Hello. Speak. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Heston. Welcome back to the last vlog I'm doing off of the stupid potato. Say hi guys. Hello. I am Hello. a potato. You are not a freaking anyway. I'm a cabbage. Oh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in an update to everyone. My computer is all configured. I just need to install every goddamn thing. But I finally got the last component, which is the uh, SSHD drive, which is four terabytes, and the Vengeance um, DDR fours. Shut up about that mistake, by the way. Thirty-two gigs. Otherwise, everything is set up. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna show it off. Well. Okay, poor choice of words. Uh, this will be the last time I show this, by the way. Um, specs will be on the... Um, about the channel thing, but... Thank you guys for your patience. I cannot stress that enough. And I'm gonna say sorry to you guys, because you had to put up with uh, my shenanigans in TeamSpeak. <laughs> while raging. Shenanigans? It's fine. Nah, what are you talking about? Oh, they're being... Modern. It hasn't been annoying at all. Okay. <laughs> really, if anything... If, if anything, Jakaya should be in here to say shenanigans. Oh, Well... Yeah. He missed out on the opportunity to actually admit to what I was bitching about or what I couldn't find. That was a freaking flag, apparently. Anyway... Couldn't find the start button. Shut up! Okay. <laughs> I'm used to it saying either start or it's a freaking four window thing, not a freaking flag, even though thinking back that was Windows 98. But anyway, moving along. So, uh, to give you, okay, I need my, okay, I know the lighting isn't the greatest, but again, I'm on a freaking budget. Everything went to this freaking thing, but as you can see, there is the, ignore the soda, but there, there you can see the old tower, or the case, whatever. Here's the new one. Focus. Yeah, that thing is massive. It's a Corsair 540. Holy crap. And if the... Nope, there's no light, so... But before you ask, I am recording on... T uh, yeah. Ooh, Inception. But, yeah, it's raised, yeah, it's not really working out. I have to elevate it on a freaking fireplace because that's the only place I can put it because over here, uh, yeah, it's not going to get cooled enough in my opinion, so I can't show it up, like, I can't show you the insides, but on the left hand, that's where all the cords are, so it's meant for more cooling the components. Like, I have five, five freaking fans freaking on this thing. You can't really see it, but, but once I install the new oh, ram sticks, and I'm hearing a damn echo, damn Stahlberg. <laughs> or that was Freak, I don't, I don't remember. No, it's, it's him. He's had his bug for, for multiple days now, where it's, it's leaking through his system somehow. So even if he mutes his microphone, it still leaks. Oh, jeez. What the <laughs> fuck is this bullshit? Ask Jakaya. Anyway, once I get... Once I get this hard drive installed, along with the new RAM sticks, because I only have... I think either 4 or 8 gigs of RAM installed on this, but they're backups. They're in case these fail and I need to... Well, I doubt I'll be able to do a good video. But otherwise, I... Do, I'm still using the GTX 770 because I need adapters for my monitors. Because apparently somebody who shall... Oh, he muted himself. Anyway, Stahlberg said, uh, was pretty much the one that said that, Yeah, it should be fine. I'm not I'm not returning it. I, I do want the improved graphics. And one monitor, another friend of mine, because turns out... I forgot to plug in the CPU uh, power supply, which is why it wasn't working yesterday. 
So, yay. But otherwise, I did a good job, according to him, except for cable management. Um, yeah. Right, Stahlberg. You did not say what kind of plugins I needed for my goddamn mother... My freaking monitors. Because you never provided me with any information other than that you were using DVI. You, only, you didn't say that your second monitor was a VGA. Shut up. So, yay. While I sort that out, I am using the 770 as for mentioned, and thank you to Chris. I will not say his last name. He actually pointed out the fact that I didn't plug in the uh, power supply to the CPU as for mentioned. So, yay. But otherwise, as I said, he said that I did a good job except for cable management, at, at least where the components are. In the back of the case, technically the side but as he pointed out it didn't matter back there except for ease of if i ever have to swap anything out but so speaking of swapping out i will be swapping out to 1080 depending on whether or not i buy either the adapters or new a new monitor because i'm getting rid of the smaller monitor i mean you guys can see right here they are off right now here's my 27 inch i don't know what that is and metrics sorry to you two and the team speak but anyway uh, if you wanted a metrics just take the number times 2.54 if i remember rightly shut up Stolberg. anyway and then there's my 17 inch yeah i'm getting rid of the 17 inch um i'm keeping this one just because it's massive that's what she said um and then I'll, I don't know. I'll May I just ask something real quick? What? Uh, the 17 inch is the one with the VGA. Uh, no, it's the you... one that actually can plug into the new frickin' graphics. And that card. is that the bigger one of the screens? Nope, it's the smaller one. Sorry, is it the big one of the screens that is VGA that you can't plug in? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. <sighs> Which one of them has the blue contact on the back? The bigger one. Yeah, you're going to have to throw that out, because VGA can only be adapted into DVI-A, and the one that you have on the back of your card is DVI-D. Oh goody, looks like I need two new monitors. Yeah, I actually looked at The only way you can actually make it work is if you plug the VGA cable into a box that transfers it into a DVI signal, and then you take a DVI cable from that box to your computer, which would be okay. hugely expensive and waste of your time. You heard it here first, folks. Okay, so the 770 is going to be an, a thing, at least until... I don't know. Uh, technically, my dad still doesn't know about all the new components. All he knows about is the cooler and the case. That's it. Everything else, except for the graphics card and the CD-ROM player, everything is new. <laughs> Otherwise. And I still have the graphics card. The GT... Oh, God. That thing weighs over a kilo. Like, maybe one and a half kilos. It is massive. But I I can't wait to install that. So, but once again, guys, thank you all so much for being patient. Yes, I know it was the cooler. Uh, again, Chris, one of my friends in physical real life. Not these two uh, poor schmucks who had to listen to my raging last week. Um... He did look at it, and yes, it was the cooler, so if I ever do need a backup computer, which I think I already have one, all it needs is a new cooler, and then that one can be re rebooted up, and I'll still have all my settings and all that crap, blah, blah, blah. Now for the hard part of physically transferring everything from those hard drives to the new ones, it should be relatively easy. I mean, Steam games and all those, I can just re-download, but things like the Space Engineer uh, save files, uh, that's going to be a little more tricky, but... Yeah. Though, if need be, you could just upload those to Dropbox. <clears throat> save files shouldn't take that much space, oh, and a yeah. Dropbox is 2 gigs if you don't pay for it. Right, right. Like I said, though, it's just... I just need to find the save files. It shouldn't be that hard, but as one of you got, uh, one of the, I forget who it said, who said it, but one of, uh, 
You do, you guys do realize I am recording, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. But one of you guys, viewers, not you and TeenSpeak, one, but one of my viewers, I do remember, said that there's uh, different corruption things or something, in, uh, imperfections in hard drives. So one imperfection might not transfer over to another hard drive. So it may save, but like I said... Um, Empire at War, I'm just going to have to restart that Let's Play, just because, yeah. I tried reloading a different, the same save, but from a different hard drive, and that was a freaking nightmare, so, I don't know. But, hey, I get to do a video on how to install Phoenix Rising properly, where it gets working AI. So, something to look out for there. Now I need to figure out how I did it again the first time. So, but everything's back to relative normal. I just need to install everything. But in order to install everything, I need internet. And to get internet, I need my dad to actually get off work because he works from home. Or I need to get my own place, but one problem at a time. Let's see. I got a new computer. Check. I need a new car uh, or a new battery. Even though the electrical issues are still there. But once again, to fix the electrical issues, probably going to cost more than the car's freaking worth. Uh, then my own place. Also on top of that, I still need to pay for school. So, yay. But one problem at a time. Let's just resume the happiness. So, Friday. You guys should expect more than three videos. Read your comments. I'm starting that back up tomorrow. Sorry for the technical issues on why I couldn't do it the last two weeks. But... Returning to a YouTube channel near you with the name Andrew Hester. Reading your comments. Star Wars Empire at War. Um, don't know if I'll restart that or I don't know. Um, but how to actually install it. And you know what? I think I'll let the fourth one be a surprise. We'll see what... Let's see what this beast can do. Even though, really, the only thing new is the motherboard. In the Let's see what this beast can do. Hearts of Iron 4 video. <laughs> But, again, I have to stress, for those of you asking where certain videos were, basically, the the cooling pump, as Chris told me, pretty much failed on my old computer. Well, yeah, old computer. So, basically, the CPU was running at a constant 99 to 100 degrees Celsius, or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the boiling point of water. I could not run even Minecraft without mods. I couldn't even run Hearts of Iron. I couldn't even do Civilizations 5 on on with how the computer was behaving. Yes. Just to give you an idea, that kind of a temperature would also be bad for an engine. You if it gets it above first. that point. Yeah. That's without cooling, though. If an engine doesn't have cooling and it goes above that point, then, yeah, you're starting to have problems. Yeah. So, I mean... But I need to stress once again, my computer build is over the top, even for gaming. I mean, yeah, game... More like game enthusiasts. They want the best, but when it comes to casual, like what I would be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube... Yes, this would be over the top. My old computer would have been plenty fine, but because I need to render and edit videos and, in addition, Photoshop and possibly learning how to animate because seems like none of the animators are willing to talk to me anymore. I don't know why, but this computer over the freaking top. At most, I would say you would really, if you want to be a serious gamer, at most you would need... 16 gigabytes of RAM, maybe a, I'd say 900 graphics card, just to, I th I'd say that would pretty much have you set for the next, I don't know, how many years would you guys say? Uh, the 900 series, if you're going for a 960, it would probably last you for a year or two, 970 or 980 might last you for three or four extra years. So that depends on if games just try to utilize the extra power of the 10 series or not. Yeah, so the 770 that I had, uh, graphics-wise, 
Well, Space Engineers would run into some issues, but as Stahlberg pointed out to me when we were actually looking at parts to replace my power supply, basically it was because my graphics card wasn't getting enough freaking power. What the hell was that? Yeah, you weren't your or your graphics card wasn't getting up enough power to utilize its full functions. Yeah. So whoever was it that you bought a st or you bought a store bought PC, right? Or, or a store built no, PC? No, no, that was Chris. But I think I now that I say it, I think I said barely at no wait, I forget. But I guess I don't know. Power supply wise. I don't know, I didn't actually talk to him about the power supply, but I figured, I don't know. I'll message him about it on Facebook, about it, but, but, long story short, even though this video is already two and a half gigabytes big, since the time I hit the record button, I'm back to, I'm back, baby. Oh, tomorrow's Empire at War video is going to be so, well, it's going to have a great intro because I've actually had some time to think about it, but I think for, yeah, unless you guys tell me otherwise in the uh, comments below, I think I'm just going to restart as the Rebels just because of all this and. To transfer the save, I've had issues with transferring save files from Empire at War from an old hard drive to a new. Basically, it crashes a hell of a lot more than what we're used to, where it just happens maybe once in a video a week, not five times in one recording session, and oh god. So, I think I'll just restart the whole Let's Play just because... I don't know. You guys let me know. I'm still playing as Phoenix Rising. Either I start new as the Rebels, or I play for a little bit, but... Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna restart. I forget, because I was mostly learning what I can do, so... I don't know. But, anyway, we're back, baby. I said we're back. People on no, we're not. We're potatoes. We're not back. Boom, black. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it's not, okay, I, I, to be honest, I don't know exactly what it says, because it sounds like gibberish when he says it, and, anyway, so, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and, I hope to see you in the next one. Say bye, guys. No, I refuse. I'll oh, feel that Omaha them. just blew up. Hey, do, hey, morning. I'm Bradrag. Why my viewers like you guys almost, a, if not more than me, <laughs> when you're complete assholes to them? Uh, I don't know. You guys are assholes, you know that? That's what we do. <sighs> we don't anything better. Oh. Like, we've got new lives, what say. the fuck do you expect from us? Oh, oh, you need a script to actually operate? We all know how well that went with the fucking Space Engineers multiplayer video. <laughs> okay, you can't... Okay, improv is more funny, in my opinion, unless you're able to sell the script. <laughs> yes, I need to emphasize, the Space Engineers was not scripted. Sakir was just being whatever with the whole stupid pizza, and I just rolled with it. And then Stahlberg just pretty much just kept his mouth shut until the we have, were like one kilometer above the planet from impact. <laughs> Basically going, uh, I'm guys! a good soldier, leave me alone. Like, guys, maybe you should stop arguing about the pizza and platinum and crash. <laughs> we, okay, is the net code working for that? I Define to... working. <laughs> oh, for fuck. Hey, that's what my old computer can be. It could be the dedicated server, or... Either that, or you could ask Jakaya to host one, seeing as how he's currently hosting a Space Engineer server himself. 24-7 oh, oh. server. So, he's upgraded from tech support to dedicated server host. Oh, I see. He's the one who hosted our ARC server as well. Well, I didn't know that. I still need to play ARC. 
Anyway, so yeah. I got a lot of installations to do. So, yay. Hashtag, I am not leaving this seat for the next couple hours. Hashtag, Koenig on fire. Hashtag, I put my foot up your ass. Hashtag, YOLO! Oh, God. Hashtag, I need more toast and apple juice. Juice. Juice, you fucking mong! <laughs> and you not speak English! <laughs> Shut up. Fuck up. I don't need a bit with your shit. <laughs> oh, I've got toast. You can tell we have fun in this team speak, can't you guys? Anyway, once again, for the last time, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Say bye, guys. I'll be there. Then. Okay, and this video is 3.3 .3 gigabytes big, so I better hit the stop, so... Bye-bye. They want to say bye once? Oh, for fuck's sake. Shut up! That's it! We're done! Silencio! Okay. Oh, poor Bogue. Being attacked by a New York and Omaha and fucking torpedo bombers. Jesus Christ. Oh, turns out Stahlberg is playing on the North American server by uh, right now. I'm tier 5! <laughs> I'm tier 10. I know. But only in one ship, otherwise I'm tier 8 and only one other line and that's it. <laughs> and okay. I'm tier nothing because I don't play those sh shitty games anymore. Not oh, working you for my... didn't. You fucking didn't. No, not working for that those tier 10's garbage anymore. Not doing that. Done it twice. Not doing it again. Anyway, bye-bye.